our school made quite a bit of money. And when we had started, it was our second fundraiser of the year, and I personally felt kind of guilty about asking parents again for more money, more money. And as a group, we kind of thought, wouldn't it be great if we raised money for something, a project, maybe the homeless, we were throwing out ideas back then, um, and all the kids at that point just presumed I would decide. I decided not to. I thought what an incredible learning opportunity for the kids to take the initiative to decide how their money that they raised was spent. See, in grade six, they take government and they take democracy. They study um, being a, a global citizen, taking care of others in our world. So I thought it was really important that they had some ownership in this. This activity has not shrunk. It has completely blossomed. I have never had a project that has ever got so many people excited. Not just the kids in our class. We have kids in grade one running up, asking us questions about, well, we want to donate. Could you tell us more about those sea turtles? We have kids going home at night saying, Mom, we're having this election, and you know, I'm, I'm kind of wondering, how would you vote if you were going to vote? I have parents wanting me up saying, what have you done? My kid won't stop talking. I had, over uh, the last little break, and I'll pick on someone's daughter here, emailing me, Mrs. Spielman, I need to know questions. Mrs. Spielman, what do you think? Questions. And this is their break. They're supposed to be relaxing, laying in bed, having fun. No, they're worried about or excited about their project. Today, we've even had tears. They are so excited about this. This is not about getting a good mark. They, I don't even know if they could care less what they get. This is about doing something that they are so passionate about that they want to get you on board, to get you to believe in what they're doing, to have you guys feel the excitement of doing this activity. I'm going to back up just one more time. When they started, again, I didn't want, and boy, it's hard, but I didn't want to be the driver. I wanted them to. So I had them research all the different organizations they could think of. And that was hard because sometimes they got fixated on Heaven Can Wait or fixated on the first group on Child Brides. And we thought, what is going to be best for our group of students and best for a group of five sixes to be presenting? They then divided themselves into four activities. There will be Jumpstart, a local organization designed for kids. So I have to tell you a little background because only I got to hear this. But when they were watching their presentation themselves, the one boy goes, I just get emotional when you know you've done something that's so good and so important. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I love you. Anyway, so jump start. Our next group is the sea turtles. You can't mess with the sea turtle for cuteness. But they knew it had to go beyond cuteness. They were also the first group to ask me if they could give bribes. But they didn't call them bribes. Well, what if we gave everybody a candy that voted for us? <laughs> yeah, no. Legally, you can't be doing that. But this group has done an amazing work. They have been in contact with um, jumps or with um, the Sea Turtle uh, World Wildlife Federation. They have been emailing them, asking them information, and they're trying to give you the most honest information that they can share with you. The next group that you will see is the uh, Heaven Can Wait, and you can see that Heavenly Kim. That's what we always call you in class. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Kim is here, and uh, of course, how can you mess with a dog? That organization was the one, just so you know, that the school voted for. Not because of the cute puppies, but because, you know what, little kids can make sense of the world around them. And this was an organization that was close, close to their hearts and close to their homes. And, and they, they won. We have already, at the school level, come on in. There are some chairs. They have already earned from the school, or donated from the school, $350. I already have little grade ones coming running up to me. Mrs. Spielman, you know that presentation the five sixes did? Well, my mom said I'm allowed to stop getting birthday gifts and donate all the money to Heaven Can Wait. And I'm thinking, wow, what a powerful project. Here are these kids already seeing that they can make a difference in the world and make it a better place. The final group, the water project. These are a group of kids that they're also wanting to bribe you, but not to bribe you, but to get your minds going. Clean water. Do you imagine a day without a drink of clean water? They couldn't. They, they are so taken with this project that they can't get this out of their system. And it doesn't matter 
what the school voted for, and it doesn't matter how things even turn out today. This group of kids are going to continue to fight this battle because they are so passionate about making sure that every child and every person has clean water. They were fortunate to get to Skype with one of the organizers from the world or from the water project. So this little group of kids is sitting down around the uh, smart board in the library, talking face to face with the guy who organized this uh, down in uh, New Hampshire. It was thrilling. I mean, it's just taken learning to an entirely new level to think that these little puppies can Google with the experts. They don't need to run home and ask mom, hey mom, why is water important?